So you've wanted turf since you've been here, right? Um, well, it's not that I wanted it, but it's a need. You know, there's a yeah. difference between wants and needs. And if we could have, uh, you know, better weather, um, if you had a, a drier falls or, you know, later uh, winters where it didn't get as wet with sleet and rain and snow, um, I'm a grass guy, trust me. I love the smell of grass and grass stains and blood and all that stuff. But uh, the common sense thing is that you need something that's going to give you the best chance and, and opportunity to be successful at the end of the season and the worst weather of the season. And so it's a need. Yeah, it's definitely a, a need. Uh, if we had the best... I would want the best grass you could have, like they do down the south, and it wouldn't bother me. But uh, yeah, when it when it's gets soft like it does, we need uh, we need turf. So yeah, I've been waiting for it just because we want to be able to practice here, play here, don't move any playoff games, and, and give our fans and our community and the kids the opportunity to play as many home games as possible in the regular season. You know, uh, you've had the last few seasons you've had your playoff games at Grand Haven. Uh, how many years has it been since you guys have hosted all the way in the playoffs? Um, I can't. We, I don't think we ever have. Even back in 08, um, you know, we were in a position to. Uh, we had to move a game in 08 against uh, Lowell. We moved over to. We almost lost a game here against Hudsonville in a mud bowl. Um, and then we, we had to move in 08, and then of course uh, uh, 10, 11, 12. We, we were uh, in a position where we had to go and play on the road, so that wasn't it. But uh, since 2012 or 13, we've had the opportunity to host home playoff games and we've moved them off so 14 we moved it to uh, to Holton and then um, uh, 16 uh, we moved them to Grand Haven 17 Grand Haven 18 Grand Haven you know so on and so forth so we try to get as many in here as we can but once we start to lose our footing and our kids can't put their foot in the ground and get vertical and we're losing our it's just not safe um, uh, we've moved them all so I think I think in the last four years we've probably had you know, seven or nine games moved uh, in the last four years and talk about some of the other changes, you know, besides just the turf, you were... Um, you know, I'm informed that we're possibly getting the, you know, the stadium repainted uh, and sealed, uh, a new facelift, and then, uh, you know, there's this chain link fence behind us, I believe is going to brick wall, four foot brick wall all the way around to the outside wall, six foot wall, so I think that was all approved through our board. And, um, you know, our community is, really, like I said, this whole bond thing passing has really stepped up, and we want to make sure that our first game and the stadium, uh, people are very proud and our community is very proud of this place uh, to call home.